Hello everybody out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 20 things that I no longer own or that I don't own. A few months ago, I shared a video on 10 items that I no longer buy, but today's video is focused more on the items in our lives that are more stationary as opposed to being purchased regularly. These are some items that I currently do not own um, based on my lifestyle and my current living situation or preferences but by no means is it bad if you own any of these things I may very well um, choose to own them again at some point so without further ado let's get started item number one is a car so this is something that is uh, definitely a little bit different in my life because I drove for so many years. I had a car for a really long time, but when I moved downtown where I am now, I just don't have a use for a car. And to be honest, I really, really like it actually. I walk everywhere. Everything for the most part is in walking distance. If I do travel a little bit further, I'll just take public transit. I love that I'm able to save each month on car insurance, you know, gas, I don't have to pay for parking. Next item that I no longer own is a TV. I've never been a huge television person to begin with, so it really doesn't even phase me that we don't have one here. We do have Netflix, so we'll watch that on our laptops. Sometimes we'll watch a movie. But other than that, no TV, and what goes along with that is we don't have any cable or any DVD players or disky things, games, all the equipment that comes along with owning a TV either. Next item that I don't own is a couch. Because we live in such a small apartment, this is a 365 square foot studio apartment, we just don't have a lot of space for furniture and it works well for us, but yeah, as it stands right now, we don't own a couch. Next item that I don't own are CDs. I mean, over the years, I, I've had tons of CDs and other musical things. I used to listen to quite a lot of CDs in my car because I had a CD player, but of course, when I got rid of my car, I also got rid of quite a few CDs, but I was able to transfer all the music over onto my computer. I just have everything digitally or I listen to something like Google Play. The next item that I don't own is an alarm clock. I will just use my phone and I know a lot of people feel a little bit iffy about having their phone as an alarm clock because it's right next to them and I totally agree I do like to actually have my phone away from me a lot of the time when I sleep. Next item that I don't own is a home phone. So I think that this is starting to become a lot more standard for a lot more people to get rid of their home phones and to just have their cell phone. So that's exactly what I do. The next thing that I don't own, and this might stir up a bit of a little conversation, um, are pets. I don't own any pets. I've had cats all my life. I've had fish and hamsters and all kinds of things. I love having pets, but I just currently don't have any because when I moved, uh, they, my, my cat stayed with my mom. So, but I love cats. I have such a soft spot in my heart for cats. There's advantages to this and there's disadvantages to this. The advantages are that I don't have to pay for vet bills or food or litter or just all of the daily, you know, tasks that come along with looking after an animal. Um, but the disadvantages are that um, I don't have a pet. <laughs> I don't I don't have any cats right now, but I'm sure or I know for a fact that I will at some point get another pet again. But I would love to hear from you. Are you guys team cat, team dog, team fish? Do you have a lizard? Are you a pet lover? Are you not really a pet lover? Let me know in the comments below. The next thing that I do not own is a million pairs of shoes. I used to own so many shoes and boots and sandals and flip-flops and a million different styles of each. But I started to realize that I was really only wearing a couple of my favorites and then the rest would kind of just collect dust in the closet. So I really try to make a priority to just keep the shoes that I need for each season, which right now for winter is about two to three pairs. The next item that I do not own is a ton of makeup. So this is just personal preference. I like to keep things for the most part to a minimum. And I've also just never been a huge makeup-y person. So I really don't have a very big collection. I have a couple basics and that's about it. The next item that I don't own or the next set of items that I don't own are a ton of hair products, hairsprays, gels, serums, dry shampoo, leave-in conditioner, you name it. I don't own any of that stuff. All I use with my hair is shampoo and conditioner. If I do wanna use a shampoo, which I will sometimes, I like using just arrowroot starch that I have in my pantry, really similar to cornstarch. Next item is a toaster. I really just don't eat a lot of the foods that you would typically put in a toaster, like bread, 
bagels, waffles, English muffins, that sort of thing. So don't have a use for a toaster. Next item I don't own is a microwave. I'd much rather heat things up on the stovetop or in the oven or just eat it cold. Not a big deal to me. The next item that I don't own is a coffee maker. I am not a coffee drinker, so absolutely do not have a use for a coffee maker. Sean does drink coffee sometimes, but not enough for us to have like a full-blown coffee maker. So don't have that. Also, I don't own a kettle. This is another thing that, or another sort of equipment-y, appliance-y thing that I don't own. So whether an electric kettle or a stovetop one that whistles, I don't own that. We just use, we have this little stainless steel pot that we use for cooking anything uh, that we'll use to boil water. Next item that I don't own, and some of you guys might be like, how do you not own this, is a vacuum. So again, because we are in such a small space and our flooring is hardwood laminate, um, we just, we don't, well, we don't have space to store a full-size vacuum and we don't really have a use for it because we'll just sweep or if we need to, you know, wipe the floor or something like that, but a broom works perfectly fine for us. I'm sure if we had a bigger place or if we had carpeting or something like that, then a vacuum would be um, more necessary. Next item that I don't own is an electric toothbrush. I really much prefer to just use a manual toothbrush. I also don't like the idea of having all the cords and the plug-in and the charger and the replacement heads for an electric toothbrush. I, I just don't feel like it's necessary. Next item I don't own is a loofah. So the floofy fluffy thing that you use in the shower with soap. I don't own that. I just use my hand. That works perfect. <laughs> the next item that I don't own is a watch, like a wrist watch. And I've really never been someone who wears a watch or really anything on my wrist. I'm not a huge jewelry person to begin with. So I don't own a watch. I'll just use my phone for the clock if I need it or ask someone, I guess, if I needed to. Um, but I will say I do like the look of some watches. Some of them are really quite nice. So who knows, maybe one day I'll get one. And the last thing that I do not own is specialty dishware. So special serving plates or trays or chinaware or anything really kind of fancy like that. I do actually really love entertaining and I love having people over and hosting and all that. So at some point I probably might want to get a few more things in the way of trays or a couple more plates, but I definitely don't own a ton of special dishes that need to be kept in a, you know, cabinet or something like that. So that's it for the things that I do not own, that I no longer own. Leave me a comment below if you own any of these things or if you don't own any of these things, I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you very, very soon.